time and date stamp uh, for today's BTS vlog. Actually, the BTS vlog for uh, July 13th and 14th. So let's get on with the time and date stamp. It's uh, 16 hours and 33 minutes into the day of Monday, uh, January 13th, and, uh, 2014. That's right. <laughs> I'm in my mobile office. I'm on Cyborg Alpha now, Cyborg Alpha Mu. That's where we are right now. And uh, we're doing our filming here. That's because uh, tonight and tomorrow it's St. Basil. It's the Greek New Year's Eve. And I'm out going to church, so I'll vlog a little bit at church to show you what's going on, how uh, things work in church, so you can see that a little bit. Oh, what else is going on? Um, oh, I am going to have a package opening for uh, the next BTS vlog, not the 13th and 14th. Well, maybe I can do it on. Maybe I can squeeze in the. I can squeeze it in. Tomorrow, if, if I do things right, I'll squeeze it in tomorrow on the 14th. I'll make it one segment and we'll squeeze in the uh, package opening. F uh, show you what I got. It's for the electronics bench. It pushes the electronic bench for. If you remember a while back ago, I was talking about the electronics bench and moving the electronics bench forward so that I can build um, the uh, quantum physics lab. Uh, well, the next part has come in. And I'll show you, I'll, I'll unbox it, I'll open it up the package in front of you, show you what it is. And uh, yeah, well, we should have, to have a lot of fun doing that. I know a lot of people like unboxing, like the, they like taking a look at the packages. Uh, and I don't know if I can give you a re review right away. That's probably because I still have to learn how to use it, so. Um, uh, yeah, so that should be, that should be fun tomorrow, even though tomorrow is going to be a... Uh, the Greek New Year's Eve, so. Uh, anyways, I think that's about it now for the opening. Uh, I, a little bit late starting today. Not that I got up late. Well, I did get up. I got, I got up around 11, 11.30, and then uh, didn't start till noon. Uh, what did I get done? I got some cleaning done. I got some uh, organizing of the office done. I'm still actually, it's one of the reasons I brought the office with me to here today is I still have to do some uh, organizing in the office to the mobile office to make sure that it's up to par with the um, office back at my uh, back at my lab and uh, the other thing I have to work on is moving um, my the cyborg alpha that I'm going to be doing uh, the uh, Android development on I have three Androids right now it's uh, I have one for alpha development, one for beta development, and one for what we call gamma. Gamma is actually uh, quality assurance. That's QA engineering. That's the third one. QA, uh, QA engineering is extremely important, and QA engineering is often missing from a lot of open source products because there simply aren't the people who will sit down and actually say, okay, let's, here's the finished product. we put it out let's test and see how well this product is actually working and so there isn't a lot of QA engineering done uh, in open source and this is what I'm hoping to do for Dolphin is bring in uh, some QA testing some bench testing uh, for the uh, browser and that should resolve some of the problems so you'll see more of that in Ubuntu BSD Unix et al. that means if I'm going to be doing the QA testing for Dolphin that means we should have a lot more content to put into Ubuntu BSD Unix to tell, and that would move uh, the production schedule for Ubuntu BSD Unix to tell uh, from a two-week sh uh, two-week show, uh, an episode every two weeks, to a back to a weekly show again, because now we will have content to put in there. But again, if we get to a point where we use up our content, uh, we'll have to fall back to a to, uh, to basically every other week. So in other words, th things are going to sort of remain remain fluid in terms of the in terms of the the uh, schedule development for Ubuntu BSD. Things it all depends on the amount of content that's there. This is sort of the same thing with the, with the BTS vlog. It really depends on the amount of content that's available uh, to me at a particular point in time, and then once that content is available and it has, we can talk about it, then. Um, we have enough to talk about to fill up you know one day or two days or you know or however many days it looks like it's going to be two days from now in other words the BTS vlog will cover um, 
this now is covering see the 13th and the 14th uh, it's uh, I think it's uh, uh, I'll have to go check and come, come back and check it let's see let's go to here we go let's bring up a file oh, she's not cooperating There you go. Brought that file. Uh, brought the uh, device up. SD card. We want the device. We want. Uh, let's see here. I gotta move this countdown timer out of the way. I want uh, notes. Video studio. And I want the BTS vlogs for January 14th. So I'll just bring it up here in the yes, no, the, the editor. Okay, so yesterday. Ah. Uh, it didn't save. Ah. Uh, I had something in case it didn't save. Anyways, uh, the way we do it, uh, I, don't, I don't really know what it's. it's I was counting down the uh, days of Christmas. Basically, January 7th was uh, the first day of Christmas. 8th is the second day of Christmas. 9th is the third day of Christmas. 10th uh, is the fourth day of Christmas. 11th uh, is the fifth day of Christmas. Yeah, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12 is the sixth day of Christmas. So 13 and 14 is 7, 8. We're doing. Uh, the seventh and eighth day of Christmas, so uh, that's where we are in terms of Christmas. <laughs> it does take a while to sort of figure this out, and I do have to sort of get my days aligned. And uh, um, but I was able to do it. So that's actually pretty cool. Maybe I'll do for a second segment tonight when I come back from church. I'll do uh, a second segment and uh, let's take a sort of show you around the uh, the old office. This is where I came out of before I went into uh, my uh, first office outside of the uh, outside of here. Anyways, uh, that's it for this segment. I will talk to you guys in the next segment. So, Kalakristuyana, Happy New Year. Khwani uh, Pala for anyone named Basil, that's Vasili, Vasili Ki, Yuritisu. So anyways, that's it for now. I will see you in the next segment. Alrighty, it's um, time for the next segment of the BCS vlog, the second segment. Uh, that's right. It's give me this give me give you the time and date stamp. It's 23 hours 17 minutes into the day of Monday, January uh, 13th, 2014. And I'd like to say Kalaka Studio and I once again start our timer. It's the, uh, I figured it out, it's the uh, 7th and 8th day of Christmas, but it's also New Year's Eve. In a few hours, well, not a few hours, in a few minutes, about, uh, let's see, about 40 minutes is going to be January 1st on the old calendar, the, uh, the uh, Egyptian astronomical calendar. And it'll be St. Basil's Day and the Greek New Year. And I'll be going to church early in the morning around 7 o'clock in the morning. I'll be leaving for church. So, uh, yeah. So, that was my dad. <laughs> um, he left something for me on, uh, on my mobile office upstairs. Yeah, I've got, my, I've got my old mobile office with me. So, this is it right here. And I've got... Uh, everything on I, I've got scheduled to talk about so uh, it was basically a couple days ago I think it was uh, uh, during the last vlog either uh, yeah sometime Sunday or Mon uh, Saturday or Sunday uh, it went by Morgan Page loves uh, uh, videos and her, her channel and uh, watched one of the videos called uh, body image and this is these these videos pop up every now and again. I used to sort of answer them on a more regular basis about this type of stuff, but uh, uh, it's about basically being a geek and uh, being different from everybody else in school. And 
the thing is, is that if you dwell on it too much, that you're being different, that uh, you do t t tend to get depressed about it. But the uh, key thing is, is that, uh, you know, if you dwell on the negative, that's all the time. That's, and then that's all you're going to feel is you're going to feel that negative. Uh, my particular solution wasn't necessarily by choice, but this is kind of the way it was. Is I didn't really, you know, you, you, yeah, it bothered you for a bit. And then after a while, it just didn't bother me anymore because it just didn't matter. It didn't prevent me from going out and having fun. It didn't prevent me uh, from enjoying myself. It didn't prevent me from enjoying my life. It didn't prevent me from having good things in my life. So the the total sum of the negatives in your life, if you don't allow it to become these these a massive thing, uh, doesn't have that much of an effect on you in terms of being the negative. You know, your, your, your total between positive and negatives you end up on the positive side of things. And that's kind of where I've ended up. I've ended up on the positive side of things, even though uh, I don't fall within the standard standard definitions of things. Uh, I don't fall in the standard definition of, of most things, actually. I fall, fall outside of what you would call standard mainstream. Uh, in almost every situation, even when I say I'm a geek and a nerd, even there, that's an approximate. It's not actually what I am. It's just the closest approximation that I can describe to people that uh, uh, I don't fall within uh, any group category. I don't fall uh, within mainstream. I don't even fall within the deacon nerd. Uh, that's not even my category either because uh, uh, I'm not completely that. I'm ne I've ne that's and that's part of my been part of my problem is that uh, uh, I could never conform to any particular group or group of you know individuals who call themselves a group. Uh, even the, the, I found that you know when I was traveling through out, out when I was sort of leaving mainstream and moving out into the uh, extremities of society, that I just didn't fit in, and I wasn't able to conform the way they expected these people expected to perform. So I was there for a bit in one particular group or, or another on the fringes of society. And then within a month or two, I was gone. And at just some point in time, I realized that I was simply an individual. It was a nonconformist. And that's kind of uh, uh, what set my life in the, in the direction it is now, is that uh, yeah, I'm happy with what I have. It doesn't, the negatives don't bother me. And that's where most people have to get to. You know, you, if, if you're a person who's struggling with the negatives, you have to get to the point where um, you, you need to realize you need to be happy with what you have. I mean, people, people, even with the negatives, have enough to be happy with what they have. It just, in many cases, they don't see it. Uh, so that's, you know, about body image, about fat, you know, the spoken word thing. Uh, you know, it's how you choose to live your life, basically, is, you know, and I said, I don't want to dwell too, dwell too much on it, because it's not, if you start dwelling on the stuff, then that's what you see, and you don't see the positive. You don't see what's good in your life. But for myself, things are going—you know—things are going well. I am what I am. You know, my life is going the way it's going, and I don't expect anything different. But that doesn't mean that I don't enjoy what I have. So, on to the more positive things, is that uh, I've got uh, bits and pieces of the lab coming. Uh, for uh, the electronics lab and that's what we'll be doing in the last segment the last segment we will be um, uh, looking uh, unboxing the materials uh, and seeing how they fit within the electronics mention so basically the hardware hacking that I was going to get into the uh, the electronics bench work is going to begin sometime in February. It's going to take about a couple of weeks to really get the bench up and going, the electronics bench up and going. That's the way it always is. Nothing happens instantaneously. Things uh, happen over a period of time and then as things progress, uh, things get better and better. Uh, what else is there? I should show you around. I'll probably, we'll probably do that. that, that uh, I won't do that now or even tomorrow. Because tomorrow I'll be doing another video. I have two more segments to do tomorrow. Uh, I said one segment is going to be the unboxing. The last segment is going to be the unboxing. 
Uh, but depending on when I get back from church, it's also going to be um, a, a sort of... Well, maybe I'll actually vlog inside a church as well. See, so we do take a look at the liturgy so we can see what the liturgy is like. Uh, but uh, that remains to be seen. We'll see what happens tomorrow. We'll see where we go from from you know from from here. Anyways, uh, so the timer is almost up, so it's, that means our time is up for this segment. And um, I will see you in the next segment tomorrow morning, probably sometime around eight o'clock in the morning, nine o'clock in the morning. And I wish you a Suya, Happy New Year. Coin your bluff. Head to Yuyutisu for uh, Vasiliki and uh, Vasili. Eh. Later. <laughs> I said that uh, the last two segments of the BTS vlog for uh, the Greek New Year, thir January 13th and 14th. Uh, so these are the last two segments for the BTS vlog for that period. We're going to do an un unboxing. Yeah, I received the package and it's time to do the first unboxing. This is the first time I'm doing the unboxing here, so I've got my X-Acto knife. And I'm just going to uh, score the top here a bit. See so if we can get into the package here. Yeah, we're into the package. Cool. So let's do the top. Do down this way here. This package is for the electronics bench. If you uh, looked at my earlier BT, my earlier blogs, uh, vlogs, I've been talking about uh, uh, the electronics bench. Basically, uh, working on the electronics bench so that. Uh, I can build a good physics lab. So uh, let's do that. Let's get this bubble wrap packaging off. It's coming off pretty good. There we go. Get the packaging off. This is an SMD uh, rework station. That's exactly what I want. So that way we can get into uh, surface mount. Uh, Repairs and, and construction. Uh, here we go, 3 in 1 toolkit. Here's the instruction manual. Uh, let's just take that out. Put that over there. And let's see, let's take the big one out. This is it here. Yeah, this is nice, very nice. Um, let's see, there's tape on here that has to come off. Let's do that, take the tape off. Off. I'm gonna pull the unit out. Oh, I see. So let's take a look at this here. I'm going to check to make sure that the voltage is correct. Uh, sometimes you have to watch for the voltage here. Uh, you got to make sure, because I'm in, I'm in North America, so I want to make sure that it's, that it's 110 and not 220. Sometimes that does happen. And if you plug the wrong voltage, this into the wrong voltage, uh, you can quite you can ex expect quite a, well, a lot of smoke and explosion. So this is it here. This is the SMD workstation. It's got a nice little power supply on it here. This is a uh, Seiki uh, 909D. So I'm going to go put it on the bench. What I'll do is I'm going to finish this up and then I'll turn the camera around and we can take a look at it on the bench. Alrighty, everything's unpacked and it's on the bench. So now that means it's time to go through the different parts that were t given to us. It's, we've got uh, these are um, power leads. Apparently, there is a uh, digital voltmeter on here. There is definitely uh, a digital power supply here. So you could have a power supply here. There's a soldering station. There, there, this is the soldering iron that comes with it. So here, this is the soldering iron that comes with it. There are, it comes with several tips. So that's cool, it comes with several tips. So you have uh, different options for soldering. 
So this apparently isn't simply just uh, a, a, a simple um, rework station. It's got the whole thing in here, and it's got uh, these are uh, a spare set of parts for the uh, blower gun. This is a mount that goes around here someplace. I have I have to sort of read the instructions better to sort of see where this goes, and this will uh, hold the uh, hot air gun. It comes with a whole collection of tweezers, of course your power supply cord, and um, you also have different nozzles uh, for the hot air gun. So it's really got everything it needs in here, including uh, the uh, power supply. So uh, I'm, I haven't actually tried it out. I'm not, I'm not going to really turn it on just yet because I have other things to do. I, as you can see, I can still sort of, uh, you know, I still have to sort of work on the bench a little bit more. Here's the instructions for it. Now, over here on the bench, if you look to the right, right, right there, if you can take a, take a look right there, uh, this is a Heiko. So, I've, this is going to give, this is going to give me a second soldering iron. I have the Heiko over here. This is the Seiki, uh, I think it's the Seiki, Seiki over here. This is the Seiki here. This is the Heiko. Both are good soldering. I really enjoy the, uh, the Heiko soldering iron. Uh, it does a very good job for what I need to get done. Uh, no complaints. These are the uh, uh, the vices to hold different bits of work. And the thing is, as you can see, the bench really needs to be fixed up a little bit more. Uh, that's sort of the, the next project for uh, the next couple of days. And uh, yeah, so this is the unboxing. This is uh, what I got. Uh, I will, in another video, turn it on and show you the bench fixed up more. But for now, uh, that's about it. Uh, I will uh, go over to the next camera and uh, give you a proper goodbye. <laughs>time to give you a proper goodbye for the uh, BTS log for uh, January 13th and 14th. That's right, uh, uh, on Monday and Tuesday, uh, uh, the 13th and 14th for the BTS vlog. it was the Greek New Year's, uh, it was St. Basil's Day, and uh, I spent most of the time out at my parents' house going to church. And the thing is, same thing's going to happen over the weekend. Basically, Thursday night I'll be leaving my place. And it'll be uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, I'll be going to church for uh, Fota. Fota is the uh, last uh, day of Christmas. Uh, so it's the, it's, the, it's the 12th day of Christmas on, on Sunday. And I'll give you a brief expla explanation on that as we go through the event. So I'm going to take you through everything and uh, uh, maybe probably do a little uh, introduction video. Uh, I'm tr getting better at trying to work out these uh, different camera angles, and uh, I said I got the tripod. I have a second tripod here working, so that I can do the unboxing. Uh, so now uh, that I've done the first unboxing like that, I could do more unboxings. Uh, in other words, I have a lot more that I can be doing that um, uh, that I haven't done in previous uh, vlogs, simply because I just didn't have the means and mechanisms to do it. Um, that being said, um, <laughs> what else is there? Um, it wasn't a bad yesterday, it wasn't, it wasn't bad yesterday. We had, we had lunch after church, uh, so there was a New Year's Eve lunch and then there was a New Year's Eve dinner. Both meals were good and filling, <laughs> Greek style. Can't complain. So, uh, but that's kind of about it. The I do have a lot of work to do on the electronics bench. You will be seeing more on the electronics bench as I go through uh, the uh, Cyborg Alpha TV2, as I go through the different uh, uh, stuff on the internet. I will be looking at a lot of open source projects to really build my physics bench. The quantum physics bench uh, will come, come almost completely out of open source materials. It's not going to be coming from a standardized textbook. The stuff that I sort of pull together, I look at the project, see if there's some physics I can pull out of there and what physics I can pull out of there, and how does that then uh, contribute to quantum physics. So what I've got right now, I've got the soldering iron, I've got now the soldering, uh, the 
the uh, desoldering rework station. So I've got the whole that whole package there. Uh, so I got a package. I can do everything from uh, standard through hole to uh, SMD now. It's now a matter of tidying up the bench, getting it function, do the first tests, and start working on the first few products. The first few products that, that, that should be coming in over the next two months or so is I am getting an end to Arduino. So I will be getting into the Arduino development. And from the Arduino development, I will be getting into um, metering. That's how I'll be getting into metering, uh, developing meters for uh, the electronics bench and then for uh, eventually for um, uh, the uh, quantum physics lab. All that will come out of that bench there. Uh, so that's going to happen over the next few months. When the, the when the parts come in, I will unbox everything. I'll test it out, and you'll see the the, uh, the unboxing, the testing. I haven't plugged that in and tested it out yet. I am going to do that. You are going to see that sometime this week. So uh, you'll know what happens. <laughs> so uh, anyways, I'm going to leave that here. Uh, this I think this BTS vlog might be a little short because it's in real bits and pieces. I didn't carefully log what I had done, so <laughs> there's a bit of there's a bit of an unknown here. There's a bit of unknown whether or not we are at or under uh, the uh, a lot of time. So I said 30 minutes is our goal. If we're five minutes short or five minutes over, eh, you know what? <laughs> this is behind the scenes TV. This is this is uh, as raw as you get. It's not going to be perfect every single time you can't get things down to a push button you know uh, a, a formulaic well this is going to be a solid 30 minutes that's going to be solid you know we can't we're, we're gonna we're gonna approximate the tv schedule we're not going to be exactly within it so i uh, once th this this is actually something good here uh once this bench is up and working what this basically means is that the next goal is to start working on uh Physics TV, I've decided that Physics TV is going to be the live channel. And the goal is to, to leverage off the off of YouTube and try to create a live channel from YouTube. And uh, that, I, don't, I don't really know how I'm going to do it. This is, this is something that I have to sort of sit down and figure out. Uh, but uh, there, there's definitely going to be a, an attempt to try this. But, uh, you know, we'll see how the project goes. It's, it's going it's to be a bit-by-bit bit thing. I think it's going to take a year to get uh, Cyborg Alpha TV live, to get Physics TV live. And it's, it's, it's primarily going to be an experiment. Uh, well, and you can watch right here on BTS Vlogs and, and Cyborg Alpha TV. You can watch behind the scenes as we develop a TV station. So that's the cool part. You're watching how a TV station is developed by a scientist, by a researcher. And I am a scientist. I am a researcher. You're going to see my research out there. You'll be able to sort of see uh, my different documentaries. That, that The documentaries will be in my papers. You'll be able to see my notes. That's, that's InstaVlogs. InstaVlogs are my notes. The, uh, sort of my develop, more development notes. The BTS vlogs are my raw notes. These are This is sort of... Uh, uh, unorganized just <laughs> uh, as you go notes so, but, so you, go, you go from you go from the you as you go the primary notes your beginning notes that's the BTS logs you go into insta vlogs insta vlogs your notes are a little bit further developed then you go into your uh, uh, rough cup or uh, first draft documentaries that's your doc zone uh, and so as these things develop uh, you'll be right along with us you'll be sort of enjoying these things uh, in, in, in as much quantity as you want. You know, you can watch as little or as, or as much as you want of this. Anyways, uh, that's it for now. I think I'm going to leave everything here because um, in a couple hours we're going to start uh, the BTS vlog for, um, I believe it's the uh, 15th and 16th. Yeah. All right. Take it easy. Bye-bye. Oh, almost forgot. Kalakri Stuyina. Happy New Year. Juanipala. Uh, at, uh, and uh, ha, uh, and here to Yuritisto to Vasili and Vasiliki. Got it.
die in the library. I am the professor. And professor of what? Professor of physics. Oh, say, can you see? Democratic Earth, Earth.